Much is made about Washington's left tackle, Troy Fautano, and many think he could be one of the first two tackles off the draft board. But Washington's O-line as a whole was absolutely fantastic, with solid interior offensive linemen, and both tackles were elite. Right tackle, Roger Rosengarten, is a player who is generating more and more buzz as we get closer to the draft at the end of the month. An unbelievable athlete at the position, with some really high upside, where does he end up going in the NFL draft? That is what we will be talking about in today's video. But hey guys, if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment and let me know which players you guys want to see me talk about in a future video. And without further ado, let's take a closer look at Roger Rosengarten. Rosengarten has been pretty productive for the Huskies over the last couple of seasons. In 2022, he finished the year with 15 hurries, 2 hits, and 0 sacks allowed on the year. And he had nearly identical numbers in 2023, where he finished with 13 hurries, 2 hits, and zero sacks allowed on the season. He was pretty solid as a pass protector, and he showed some solid upside at the tackle position. Rosengarten is incredible athletically. That's going to be the biggest selling point for NFL teams come NFL draft time because he shows some unbelievable tools as an athlete. He doesn't move like an offensive line prospect should move. He looks like a tight end, to be completely honest with you. He's extremely fluid, and he is super light on his feet. In the run game especially, you can see this. He gets out in front, does a really nice job on pull plays in the run game, and he helped clear some big running in the run department. He's super light on his feet yet again, and in pass protection, if he is beat on his outside shoulder, Rosengarten has the quickness to get back in the play, and he has some very solid recovery speed as well. Athletically, I think he's one of the top tackles in the entire draft class, and I think he's going to go pretty high simply due to his athleticism. Rosengarten also plays a pretty violent brand of football. I think he's best in the run game. He gets to the second level well as we talked about, but he finishes the play. He lands some powerful blocks that will put the defender on the ground, and I absolutely love that about him. In pass protection as well though, Rosengarten has violent hands, and he's got really good hand usage and hand placement in pass protection. He's constantly fighting defenders off with his hands, and I love to see that from him. The national spotlight was really put on Rosengarten for the first time in the national championship game against Michigan, and it was quite honestly an abysmal showing from Rosengarten. He seemed to get beat on virtually every single play, and he had no answers for the Michigan defensive line. The rest of his tape is pretty solid outside of that one game, but it was a pretty underwhelming showing from him, and it has some people concerned on how he's going to fare against elite defenses. Rosengarten plays pretty high in terms of his pads, and he doesn't generate a lot of strength from his lower body. As previously mentioned, Rosengarten does a very nice job at finishing plays. But when he plays high, he's unable to generate that power, and it leads to Rosengarten lunging at the point of attack. So I'd like to see him play a bit lower and play with a little bit more balance on the field. Anchor is going to be my last concern with Rosengarten's game. He isn't the biggest offensive tackle prospect in the world, and he's pretty light on his feet. With that being said, when he's met with more powerful and bigger edge rushers, he does get moved easier than most so I'd like to see him improve on those areas. Technically speaking, Rosengarten has a lot of really solid tools that are down pat and he's very good at. He's super athletic and I believe he has the potential to develop into something really nice at the next level. He hasn't allowed many pressures in college, he's been good in run blocking, and he is my number 11 offensive tackle in the draft class. The concerns are there and that Michigan game is a bit of a red flag, but I think his upside is extremely high. I think Rosengarten could potentially play guard at the NFL level. He's not the biggest offensive tackle in the world at around 310 pounds, but I do believe he's going to play tackle, and if he does, I think he fits best in a run-heavy offense. San Francisco is a dream fit for him, because he gets ahead, does the dirty work in the run game, and he lands powerful blocks, so that's where I think he's going to fit best. 
DJ Humphreys is my comparison for Roger Rosengarten. Neither are the biggest tackles in the world, but they are extremely impressive athletes with some really solid tools in both the run and pass game. Humphreys has been solid for Arizona in his collegiate career, and I see no reason why Rosengarten can't develop into being a long-term starting tackle in the NFL. Roger Rosengarten is a ridiculous athlete. He has the quickness you desire in an NFL tackle, and he shows some really high upside and some good tools in terms of his violence and his hands. I think he's going to be a steal down the board, and Roger Rosengarten will be a third-round pick in the 2024 NFL Draft.